to this lesson is based on chemistry 1501 acids and bases practice question ph and poh this is lesson 101 let us start uh, according to lesson 101 of acids and bases that is the introduction of acids and bases according to Arrhenius and Lori Bronsted we say when a solution it has more hydrogen ions more than uh, hydroxide ions it becomes acidic and then when we have a solution that has more hydrogen oxide ions than hydrogen ions it becomes basic now in simple terms hydrogen ions makes a solution to be acidic and then hydroxide makes a solution basic so today's lesson we are going to look at how to calculate how acidic or basic a solution is using pH uh, calculations let us look at our first example this will be example number one we are given this solution that has the concentration of 0.001 of hydrochloric acid and then we want to calculate how acidic this is in fact we are actually calculating the pH the power of hydrogen ion now this is the equation that you need to know we know that in chemistry the square brackets represents the concentration so from this we need the concentration of hydrogen now looking at the dissociation of this acid hydrochloric acid will dissociate completely in water because it's a strong acid then we are going to have this ions so this is the concentration that we're looking for now you can see that this is balanced and the ratio is one is to one so since we have the concentration of this as 0.001 it means the concentration of hydrogen ion will also be 0.001 so from here we can simply plug in negative log and then the concentration is 0.001 the moment you substitute your concentration you don't have to put the square brackets again the pH is 3.00 this is the answer of the first question we are given the concentration of hydrobromic acid as 0.09 remember you can pause the video and work out this question and play the video to actually verify your answer so this is also one of the strong acids so we can just look at the dissociation you can look at the molar ratio so pH is equal to negative log of hydrogen ion and then pH is equal to negative log of 0 0.09 and then this will give us 1.05 this is pH I hope you also got this correct let us look at the next example this question we cannot calculate the pH right away so we need to actually perform stoichiometric calculations now it's very important that you know how to do stoichiometric calculations uh, on the description I'll leave the link of lesson series of stoichiometric calculations now we are given one mole of hydrochloric acid and then the volume is 12 liters we need to calculate the pH remember in order for us to calculate the pH we need the concentration of hydrogen ion so in this case we are given the number of moles we are given the volume 
So the only equation that we can think of is C is equals to N over V. We have the concentration. Actually, we're looking for the concentration. We have the number of moles. We have the volume. So from here, we can go ahead and calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid. We have 1 over 12 uh, mole per liter. So this is the concentration. Now from here, we can actually calculate our pH. So pH is equals to negative log. And then we have 1 over 12. And then the pH is negative log. No, it's actually 1.08. Remember, we looked at the dissociation of hydrochloric acid on example number one. So the molar ratio, we know that it's one is to one. This one is a bit different. In fact, we're given the pH. We are looking for the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Now we know that pH is equal to negative log concentration of ion. So pH we're given as 3.0 negative log of this now we can divide both sides by negative one We're going to have negative 3.0 log and then from here you should understand the operation of logarithm now we should know that log there is a number here which is 10 if it's invincible So, for you to understand this, let us look at the operations of log. Suppose we have a number like this, 20 is equal to 3 to the power x, then we want to solve for x. We can see that x is on the exponent 11. So the equation to actually use logarithm, it will be exponent it's equals to log the number here it's base the base of this exponent multiplied by number what is number it's actually this number so this will come here and then we have our exponent which is this and then we have our base which is this so it means if you understand this we can reverse any expression or equation if you are given something like this suppose we are given twenty it's equals to log ten and then we are looking for this which is x so we know that when we are solving for x we have to reverse it to this format. So we are going to have, we know that x is number, so it will be x equals to our base is this number, which is 10, and then our exponent is this one, which is 20. I hope you can see this. This is what we are going to do here. There is a lesson video where we look at logarithmic operations that is mathematics now in this case you can see that this is our number and then this will be our base now actually this is the exponent and then this will be the base this is the number so it means we are going to have something like this our base is 10 to the power negative 3.0 then from here we have 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 remember this is the concentration mol per dm cube or mol per liter so this is the answer
this question is a bit different from the previous ones. We are not given an acid, but we are given a base, which is sodium hydroxide. We are given the concentration of the base, which is 0 0.0010. Now we are looking for the pH. There is another equation that you should know. The product of the concentration of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion is equals to 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 14. So if we can determine this, we can actually get the concentration of this and find our pH. Now in this case, we are given the concentration of this. So we are going to calculate the hydrogen ion 0 0.0010 equals to 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 14. So in the addition of pH is equals to negative log this also add this equation it will assist you when you are practicing. So we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.0010 then this will get rid of this. One times ten to the power negative eleven. Mole per dm cube. This is the concentration of hydrogen ion in zero point zero one zero sodium hydroxide solution. Now from here we can go ahead and calculate our pH which is negative log. We are going to put this our pH is equals to eleven. There is another way to actually calculate this. Another equation, POH plus PH is equals to 14. In this case, POH is equals to negative log. Instead of concentration of hydrogen ion, it will be concentration of hydroxide ion OH so if you can calculate the POH of sodium hydroxide we can actually determine our pH now POH is equals to negative log of 0 0.0010 So this is POH. So from this equation, where we see POH, we are going to substitute by negative log 0 0.0010 plus pH is equals to 14. Taking this to the other side, we are going to have pH is equals to 14 plus log of 0 0.00. 1, 0, and then pH is equal to 11. So you can see that the answers are the same. If you don't want to use this equation, this one, you can go ahead and use this one. Actually, this one. A certain solution has pH of 3.494. Determine the concentration of OH minus and H plus. Pause the video and try to work out this and play the video and see whether you understand. Now we are given the pH so we can go ahead and calculate the power of hydrogen. So negative log 
Then from here we have 3.494 equals to negative log the concentration of hydrogen ion. From here we know that the concentration of hydrogen is equals to, remember we have 10. Before we do that we can divide by negative 1. So we are going to have negative here and then this will disappear. It will be concentration of hydrogen ion plus eh, equals to 10 to the power negative 3.494. And then it will give us 3.2 times 10 to the power negative 4 mole per dm cube. Now from here, we can go ahead and use our new equation which says pH plus pOH is equals to 14. Our pH is 3.494 plus pOH equals to 14. Our pOH is equals to, when we transpose this to the other side, it becomes negative 14 minus this we are going to have 10.506 this is the POH and then from here you can go ahead use this equation equals to negative log of concentration of OH and then from here we have 10.506 is equals to we can simply plug in the negative and then we have log of OH minus. So OH minus concentration of OH minus is uh, 10 to the power negative 10.506. We find that concentration of OH minus is equals to 3.12 times 10 to the power negative 11. So I hope you got this answers. This is OH this is H plus. That's it for this lesson video. This is Pahula SJ. Thank you very much.